Hello everyone, you join me from Terminal 2 at Heathrow Airport. Currently walking my way to gate B31, where I will be getting on a plane and heading to the United States of America. Now, while I'm out there, I'm gonna be meeting lots of great people, hopefully driving some cool cars, and of course filming lots of lovely content for the channel. But the way I work means that I won't be releasing anything from this trip until I come home. Now, the good news is, fear not, there's still plenty of content that's gonna be coming out while I'm away. I've lined everything up, so you'll still get a good half dozen videos at least to enjoy while I'm not around, and of course, lots more when I return. So, fear not, you're in safe hands. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Now, that would be terribly boring, wouldn't it? No interaction, just pre-recorded videos, nothing very exciting. If only there was somebody who could step in and fill the void for a few weeks. Well, guess who went away and left their computer on and left it logged into YouTube? So, if you're a fan of seeing me on the channel, I've got good news. And if you're not, I'm afraid it's going to be a long couple of weeks. And if you're looking at me now thinking, who's that? Then you, my friend, we've got a lot of catching up to do. And I recommend looking in our archives. Because that's right, I'm in charge for the next couple of weeks. But before we go any further, if I could ask if you could just press the like button down there, and if you haven't already, the subscribe button over there somewhere, that would be great. And if you want to be really nice, leave us a nice comment, something you know, positive and constructive. And if you want to be super, super nice, share this video or one of our other videos with a friend or random colleagues or just anyone on your mailing list. It really makes a big difference to us in the YouTube algorithms and that helps us to keep making good quality content for you guys to enjoy. So it's like a, a big circle of life thing. So JM tells me that you guys had some questions and I'm going to run through some of them now. Am I still involved in the channel? Yes, I'm still here. Does JM know and does he consent to what's happening right here and now? Well, he'll find out about this about the same time as you guys find out about this, so I guess we'll wait and see. Where have I been? Well, working, to be honest. It's nothing exciting. I've been trying to earn enough money to fix some of my ever-increasing fleet of vehicles. On which note, do I have any working vehicles? Yes, surprisingly so. Are me and JM going off on an adventure or to buy something stupid again in the near future? Yes, that is going to happen. And the biggest and most requested item is an update on one of my vehicles. So I thought, what a perfect way to start this little mini-series with going and visiting that. So, let's go. And that is obviously my Dodge G13. MR2, I hear you ask. What's an MR2? Seriously, guys, I promise you, as soon as JM gets back from being on the other side of the world, we will do an update on my MR2. Things have progressed with the car, and it will be our absolute priority when he's back to show you what we've done with it. But for now, dodge! Now, as you can see, it's changed somewhat from the last time it appeared in a video. A bit of a weight savings has gone on, as you can see from the panels and various bits scattered all over the floor. And I've been spending a lot of my free time when I've not been working or doing other stuff, doing some investigating and uh, general inspection of the vehicle. My colleague, who is filming, because James is in America at the moment, um, has shown some doubts to the structural integrity of this part here, where there may, and I stress may, be some rust uh, underneath the surface. So he's convinced me to use this tool to find out if there's any rust. Oh, f Oh, f Oh. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Oh. So, oh, here we go. Now, the good news is that quite a lot of it is okay, and the, oh God, how's that? Oh, see. And the bad news is that there is a lot of it that's like, that's like this. There have been numerous comments that the steps on this aren't very uh, sturdy, so, and they wiggle a little bit. Uh, what I've discovered, having just got underneath it, is that the, they're not bolted to it, they're, they're part of the, the, the floor. And it's... Yep, 
Yeah. Yeah, that was a. Uh, that was part of the. Oh, Christ. Yeah, that was part of the floor that collapsed with these. Oh, my. That's structural. Oh, God. Oh! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you deal with something like that. So. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, my. I drove this home. I genuinely don't know if I can actually put this in the video. Oh. oh Jesus. Oh my days. It's there's 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 a lot of missing floor there. So as you can see, there is a little bit of rust. The wings well that's almost no metal left of them, it's just fiberglass. And as you saw, the floor, mm, that's, uh, that's going to need a replacement. So uh, a little bit of a recap on this. It's a Dodge G13, and I have no idea what the G or the 13 really mean, apart from I've seen a G12, and that's slightly smaller. Who knows? Now, it has a 8.8 .8 litre of V8 in it, which is a Perkins 540, and it's the same engine in my other truck, and I think it makes an absolutely gorgeous noise. In this it just made noise because the exhaust had fallen apart. That's coupled to a automatic transmission which has got three speeds on it and is, to be honest, pretty boring and doesn't really do anything. That's about it for what we know about the truck. So is it going to be worth the monumental amount of effort required to return this thing back to its former glory? Well, the simple answer is yes. To the best of my knowledge, there are only two of these things still kicking around, this being one of them. The other one is in a bus scrapyard somewhere up north and is half buried by trees, meaning it's probably going to be a lot more rotten than this one is. Now, unlike my Dennis, which is parked behind you guys, which was a purpose-built fire engine, this is a Dodge 100 Commander Series lorry. The fire engine conversion and the fire engine body was done by a company called Mountain Range. Now, they only traded for 10 years between 1980-something and 1990-something, which means they didn't actually make a huge number of fire engines. The Dodge G13 was only used by Manchester Fire Brigade, and I know that the second order was for only six appliances, so there weren't an awful lot of these things to start off with. How this got from Manchester down to Cornwall, absolutely no idea. It's a, a story that I would love to find out, and uh, yeah, it's you know, gone from up north there down to the south and down to the east. It's been all over this thing. So what needs doing? Well, it needs a new floor. The doors need work. I need to get some new wings for it. It needs a new exhaust. The engine needs a service. And there is plenty of body work to uh, needs tarting up. You know, so not much really. It's got the potential to be a good truck and it's a rare truck, but uh, it's going to be some time before it's actually ready to do anything or go anywhere. The biggest breakthrough we've had with the truck is I got the cab tip to work, and that cost a fair amount of money in just replacing all the hydraulic hosing. But that gave us access to the engine, so at least we can work on that now, and also to the underside of the cab, so we can inspect the condition of that. And that was <coughs> good to know, but uh, it's not pretty. So that was a good step forward. As you might have now realized, most of uh, the work that I've got to do is around the cab itself. The rest of the truck is basically okay. We've got a bit of work to do in the lockers, which just need you know sanding down and repainting, and the rear roof unit over the back of the pump, that also needs this piece of plywood, that just needs replacing. Uh, we had it out mm, 
about six, nine months ago with, with Jeffrey, the cameraman. And we got filled up with water and got the pump working. And it kind of pumps. That's to say, water does come out of the hose, but with about the same velocity as your average garden hose. And there was a, a sound of air rushing. So either the thing's not priming itself properly or somewhere something's not sealed. That's something we'll worry about later when it works. I'm going to try and work from this end and work my way backwards through it. There's lots of little things I need to try and acquire. Like I've got a blue light here, but not a blue light the other side and trying to get the lenses. They're around, but it's just interesting trying to pick them up. I've got a small supply of them, but not enough to cover where all the, meant, uh, where all the blue lights are meant to be. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little update on the Dodge. And for those of you who are genuinely interested, well, now you know how it is. For those of you who weren't, well, you also now know how it is. And uh, if you didn't know anything about it beforehand, I recommend you look at the video way back in our archive of when me and Jem went and picked this up. In fact, that was probably a good thing to tell you guys to have done at the start of the video. I'll get my head around this YouTube thing in a bit. So yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching and wish me luck because in the next few days, I've got to take that one down to London for a little jaunt out. And I only just finished putting it back together again this afternoon. So uh, if there's no more updates, you'll know why, it's because I've not returned. Thanks for watching guys, see you soon.